Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. Today's reading is going to be Door to the Past. And I'm inspired because we're going through so many retrogrades. And we're going to be coming into Mercury retrograde early of next week. So I wanted to do this because we all have things from the past that maybe we can't let go of. So um, you could choose one door to one, two, or three. You could resonate with multiple doors. I will leave timestamps. But what we're going to cover is sort of like whatever's um, from the past, like sort of holding you back from going into a new phase. Um, it could be a relationship. It, it could be um, just general in life. It could be your job, work, something like that. Um, so we're going to talk about something unresolved and sort of shadows involved with that, shadows that need healing. Um, energy that, you know, this carries, a lesson from the past that may not have yet been learned, how to heal, how to let go, how to surrender, um, you know, once and for all, like how to surrender this once and for all. Um, and, you know, how the future, what will the future bring once you resolve this? All right, let's get right into this. And um, each door has a message. So we're going to start with door number one. Healing heart, okay? Mourning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness, a new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. So, there must be some issue with a broken heart. Um, and heart healing does have to do with sort of clearing and reopening our heart chakra. Because when we are hurt we sort of bury our heart chakra or we block energy to our heart chakra. And when we have blocked energy, it's hard for us to, um, you know, let healing come in when there's blockages. All right. So yeah, I'm a broken heart. Let's see a little bit of the energy surrounding this broken heart. What is it over? Okay. So I feel like it could have been over a relationship that you never felt heard. You were not feeling heard you were feeling a little bit bitter, a little bit like, you know, all your energy that you were putting into something was like all for naught is what I'm getting. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's over a relationship. All right. So yeah, I feel like, you know, this may have been meant to teach you, but this is an unhealed relationship wound. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Unhealed relationship wound. Um, that was very near and dear to you. This was very near and dear to your heart. This was like, you felt like this person was the one. I don't know if you were thinking twin flame or high level soulmate. Either way, you felt extremely connected to this person. You still feel connected to this person. Yeah, it's very emotional. It's a very emotional connection. and it, Or at least it was an emotional connection. You still feel emotions about it. You still feel... Um, like there's shit you left unsaid or things that you need closure. There's something going on with needing closure. Yeah. I feel like also, did this person cheat on you or pick something other than you? Like chose their job over being with you or chose, I don't know, something else over being with you. I feel like um, you're battling two sides of your mind right now. You're trying to, um, you know, make sense of this, obviously, like, all the time you invested why is it and like why did it end like I feel like you're still um, confused but you're also blocked I feel like you're also refusing to see the truth a little bit behind the situation and the truth also of accepting the fact that you know this is over and it's time to sort of move on there's there's a sense to me that you're holding on um, I feel like too you're holding on to a battle or a fight like I just got Holding on to the fights. Like you can't let go of the fights maybe or can't let go of the fight is what I'm hearing. Um, so let's see a shadow that may have um, formed due to not um, healing this. Like left unresolved. And this is my Mirror of Shadows Oracle. It will be for sale soon. So let's see. Let's see what we get here. A shadow that may have formed. Okay. We're getting, oh, these cards are a little sticky. Lack of boundaries. I always get sucked into other people's problems. Wow. So, you know, you could have become involved with this person and just been trying to solve their problems all the time or trying to help them or trying to fix them. And they were not fixable. I also am getting from spirit. Um, spirit. I think wants you to learn or know about what unconditional love is for yourself first and to love without conditions um, is what I'm hearing. 
Love without conditions. Um, I feel like you, you feel like you wasted a lot of time here. That's what I'm getting. Um, you feel like you wasted a lot of time. You feel like you put a lot into this, a lot of mental, physical, financial, romantic, sexual, everything. I feel like you put into this relationship and you literally got very little back. And I feel like you're dwelling on that or hung up on that a little bit. Like you can't let go of the fact that there's no payout. There's no finalization here. Like we didn't lead up to get married or we didn't lead up to get engaged or we didn't lead up to moving in together. There was a missing stage here. That's what I'm getting. But it's also trying to show you that lack of boundaries is too that you're not supposed to fix people. Um, it, it's about acceptance. Take them as they come. Um, it's about not wanting to really change them. And if you want to change them too much, then it's not, you know, meant to be. All right. So I feel like this did a, a number on you though. It made your heart a little harder. It made your heart a little bit blocked off. And we've also got defensiveness. I feel attacked when people point out my shortcomings. So it could be that you did a little tit for tat with this person and that, um, you know, maybe they attacked you out of ego like you know you might have called them out on some very legit things and they couldn't handle it so they're either giving you a bunch of bullshit or they're feeding you a bunch of lies or lines or they're avoiding you um, or they're avoiding the subject they're avoiding simply avoiding the subject and it's making you feel very um, defensive and very angry and um, like you need validation and want validation of this so you can move on that's what I'm getting all right so let's talk about the energy that this carries because that's sort of where you could start to try to release this. Let's see what we've got here. We've got the thinking man. So I feel like this could be over, yes, a man. And it could be that this is either for you to start to think um, more logically about this person. Like knowing that, you know, they may never change and that's okay. Um you must have learned something from this person. So, you know, spirit wants you to examine what did you learn from this person? I also feel like this could be another man that becomes interested in you. That is more on your level, more on your level in terms of job, money, status, stability, those sorts of things. Somebody who's a little more committed, but I also feel like this person is also doing obsessive thinking about you and what they did wrong and where they went wrong. The problem with this person to me feels like they're stuck in their head a lot and they burdened you with this, okay? You got so used to trying to help them and take care of them that it wasn't allowing release for you. You just got stuck in this muddy type thing. It feels like you were stuck in the mud here. Um, so let's talk about possibly a lesson that maybe was not learned from this that needs to be sort of examined oh wow we've got growth i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness so this relationship wasn't growing and it also wasn't allowing you to grow or them to grow so if one of you was pulling all the weight and doing all the work the other one had it easy they got used to that and then it became a cycle um, and with you, it could have been stunting your spiritual growth and your growth as a person with goals and things that you wanted to do. So I feel like there's some wasted time here as well and some resentments. So I feel like let go of the resentments. You still have time to grow. And I feel like that's exactly what you're going to do once you completely let go of this. Um, I would try to meditate. I would try to ask spirit or angels um, or your spirit guides to help you with cord cutting. So you can um, really detach from this energy and really try to learn this lesson here and never to allow another person to ever stop you from growing and being who you're meant to be. That's what I'm getting. All right. So let's talk about how to heal, what to surrender, um, something that can help you get into a mindset of moving on past this. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're getting here. All right. So we've got su surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Take action and that will attract success. So spirit is like step into your power because I feel like this person made you feel like you you were on getting on their level of not wanting to progress or not wanting to do things for the future or set goals. So spirit's like, no, you did that long enough. Now don't procrastinate on things that you want to do and go forward with what you want to do. I feel like this is a sign for you to get on a different path 
train tracks, boat, whatever you want to call it, whatever mode of transportation you want to call it, it's for you to get in a new way, okay? That's what we're getting here from um, Spirit. And um, I feel like you are already putting the wheels churning for this, all right? So keep going. I hope that that was helpful. Let's get into the next part of the reading. And it's going to be door number two. And with door number two, we've got freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. I love that. To me, that feels like you might need to spread your wings a little bit. Whether it's changing your routine or where you live or stepping out of your comfort zone, whether it's traveling more, seeing more sights, whatever it is, I feel like spirit is directing you into a new way um, so you can sort of broaden your horizons, all right? Um, I also feel like you may have been... Um, not imprisoned, but like I feel like your energy may have been bogged down by other people and you felt um, very chained to ways and chained to certain people. And um, I feel like it's time to break free of that um, with this door. All right. Like, I feel like people can hold us back. Situations can hold us back. Jobs can hold us back. So spirit is like, let's not allow that anymore. So let's talk about something here that may have been unresolved from the past that spirit wants you to, you know, pay attention to or get wise to. Um, let's see what we're getting here. All right. So we've got queen of materials. So I feel like this could have been over your job. You could have been in a job that really was holding back your skill set or letting you advance because you are that good. Um, I feel like, you know, you're somebody that plans. You want to have security. You want to have money in the bank. You want your bills paid. You don't want debts. That's what I get. I also get that you are a very nurturing person and you might be the kind of person that will stick it out to the bitter, bitter end till the literally till the building is burning to the ground and I don't mean that in an offensive way I mean like you know when the wrecking ball is coming in you're like the last person standing spirits like let's not be that anymore um six of materials yeah again with money so I feel like you also were very giving I'm getting again I mean this could be over a relationship where you were overly giving but I also feel like this is at your job I feel like you were doing too much not getting paid your worth not um not advancing um, and doing all the work is what I'm hearing. So it could be relationship and job. Um, but I'm hearing you're doing all the work. You were doing all the work. Yeah, we've got sort of like this unheard. I feel like I was unheard is what I'm getting from spirit. Um, and sort of not wanting like storms in life. Like you'd rather have peace and you'll take the burden. You'll take the brunt just to not have a problem or just have arguments or just have disharmony. Um but yeah, I'm feeling like it's a time for you to really meditate on the future, like really put some thought into what you want. And if that means taking a break from things and people, I feel like it's a time sort of for you to be alone and do some soul searching and really think about what you want or what you want the next four or five years of your life to be like. Where do you want to be? Spirits like start making some plans for the future. Start start setting some real, real goals and don't set crazy goals. Spirits like set some small goals. Get yourself into that habit of um, obtaining your goals. Yeah, we're getting that you have everything you need to do this. Okay. Um, so no negative talk. You have everything you need to do it. There's no, but I can't spirits like, yes, you can. This is all power. This is all you. This is all I can. This is for you to manifest, um, exactly what you want. Go after your dreams, do what you want, do what you feel you have the most, um, power in okay because spirit wants you to feel empowered again they want you to spirit wants you to feel like you you are um you know reinventing yourself is what i'm getting from spirit okay so let's talk about the energy that this carries yeah we've got anxiety so i feel like you know you're just very very anxious and scared and worried about the future you know, um, anxiety really is when you're stuck worrying about the future and depression is when you're stuck worrying about the past. So you're worried about everything that you can't control. Spirit is like, you have to give some of that up. 
because you'll never be able to control what's going to happen tomorrow, let alone 10 years from now. So spirits like work on your anxiety, try to find ways to cope and new ways to cope. Whether you're going to start exercising more, you're going to start taking baths, you're going to start going for walks and connecting with nature, or you're going to start meditating, all of those things, okay? I'm going to start making meditation videos, so if you guys are interested, I'm going to put a playlist together for that. Um, so yeah, let's talk about too something that is a shadow involved with this, okay? So, you know, what is a shadow? And we got irresponsible. I fear failure and choose not to try. So it could be that, you know, life has just really burnt you out and you feel like you need to just be almost like a kid again. You miss that. You miss like the 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 lackadaisical that you were able to be. You miss like the no responsibilities. You miss um, being free and having fun and just enjoying life. And we've got resistance. I don't like being told what to do or how to feel. So yeah, there's some definitely some resentment feelings here. Okay. Um, if it's resentment over money or status, I feel like spirits like you can change this. Don't dwell and don't stay in this sort of stewing angry energy because you can change it. So let's talk about, you know, what to surrender to help you heal, to help you move forward. Let's see what we're getting. Oh, self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Yeah. So spirits like, look, you are enough. You have every single thing you need. You have all the skills you need. You're smart. You're resourceful. You have all what you need. You have to sort of like m make a move forward. Like don't fear. Don't don't regret things like that you didn't do. Leave that shit all behind. You can do this. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. All right. So let's get something for the future. And we were getting status quo. So to you... You know, status may be very important. So this does feel more job and money related. I feel like spirit is like, it really doesn't matter what you do. It matters if you're happy. And that will actually bring you more than money ever could. So spirits like don't solely rely on money and status that you think that that's going to always fulfill you or make you happy. It's also about what you do to make yourself happy like what do you do what do you want where do you want to go do you want to travel do you want to broaden your horizons spirit really wants you in that energy all right i hope that that was helpful let's get on to the next door forgive and forget so door number three was forgive and forget a ritual cleansing of pain and lies arise in awakening and i see a new sunrise so to me, this could be like somebody hurt you really bad from the past. Um, you know, you might be having a, a hard time forgiving this person. It's definitely holding you back. Some of the energy I feel like already is a guilty energy or an energy where, you know, you're blaming yourself. Let's, um, let's get some energies out surrounding this, what this is over. All right, so I feel like there is a, a, a thing here that I'm sensing like that you feel like you're not heard or you want to say your piece or you want to make things right. Um, I feel like you've tried to already do this um, and it's something like you just can't let go of or give up on. I also feel like the person on the other end might not be as receptive as you wanted them to be. So something that you're blaming yourself about, let's see, also... Oh, wow. we got two knights here. There's very much opposing energies. I feel like this was all about like not seeing eye to eye. There was like definite big time clashes of energy. I also feel like somebody here moved on and the other person feels like they were left behind in a cold way. There's a lot left unsaid here. Yeah, there's regret. There's depression. There's sadness. There's all these like very mixed feelings I'm getting like that you wish you said this or you wish you did that or you wish you knew I, I'm hearing I wish I knew I wish I knew better or I wish I knew that this was going to happen yeah and a lot of like doing the right thing I feel like this is about an apology um and if it's over a relationship I feel like you both owe each other an apology 
but one of you is more hiding their feelings and hiding about this than the other. All right. So I feel like it's like, yes, do the right thing. Do the right thing for you. Um, I mean, if it, if it's going to help you to move on and you want to try to contact this person and you can't, or there's something delaying that spirits, like, why don't you give it to the universe? Say what you need to say to the universe and only good can come back to you or write a letter that you never meant to send. I feel like this person doesn't want to be found. And that's what's ha giving you um, such a hard time moving on. So let's talk about some um, shadows involved with this. And I do have to shuffle these. Okay, so this is my um, my um, oracle. Sorry. Mirror of Shadows oracle. All right, let's see. Shadow. Fear of loss and grief. I don't get attached easily because I've dealt with so much loss. Yeah. So this could be that, you know, you may be like a little numb to it. It, it. I mean, also, it's to me, I feel like you can't move on unless you have like your final say or you say your piece. Okay. I am deeply insecure, unworthiness. So there's a feeling that, you know, you were never good enough. You were never enough. Um... You know, and that will definitely hold you back to make moves, other moves in life. So spirits, like, let's get, let, let, let's do things that make ourselves feel worthy. What can you do to make yourself feel more worthy in life? And if it is this, that you really need this, like closure, I feel like spirits, like sometimes we can't always get closure. Like this person has moved away from this energy. I feel like they are kind of hiding. They're kind of like soul searching too. So let's get, what is energy is this carrying? What energy is this carrying? Yeah, attachment. So you feel very attached. You still feel attached to this person. Okay, and they might still feel attached to you in some way. Okay, this could be karmic. It could be just unresolved, like, karma. I feel like, you know, you're away from each other for a reason. I feel like you have other karma to work out. You have other things to do. You have other people to meet, other things to see. I feel like, though, not a lot was gained from this like not a lot of enlightenment was gained from this and that was like sort of part of the lesson so let's see what was the lesson involved with this and we've got blame i accept responsibility for my well-being so i feel like there's a little bit of stewing and festering i feel like you're actually punishing yourself um this person may have moved on completely they might not care anymore um it might just be something you're doing um holding on to this because you feel so unsettled and there's nothing else really um anywhere else in your life holding you back or making you feel like you have unresolved shit with somebody um i just feel like this person has moved on it's almost like not worth your time or your energy anymore so i think spirits like you just need to turn your energy elsewhere so let's see what to surrender that will help you know heal look surrender the drama no matter how emotionally charged the situation remain calm and don't contribute to the drama staying centered will help resolve yeah you know what this person might be might have been playing games with you like oh come and chase me let's like fight some more let's bring up some more shit from the past i feel like they get off on it because they're in like a dark place but they want you in the dark place with them so spirits like no you like you disconnect from this energy and this person because they were not even worth your time to begin with they're just they're just not good Spirits like just move away from this. This is why like they, we inter spirits like we intervened. You have to give up the drama because don't hold on to that because there's nothing else going on right now. Or you feel lonely or you feel disconnected from others. Spirits like no, just just give up the drama. So let's get one more card out, sort of an advice like once you heal, like what will what will be. All right, look, we've got victim mentality. So spirits like don't be a victim anymore because you can move past this. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Um, you've been holding in a lot of emotion. Let it out however you have to. Um, you know, sort of try to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And, um, you know, come come out of this, this way you're feeling. Because, you know, there's really no uh, sense staying in this energy. I hope this was helpful, guys. Please let me know what you think. Leave me some comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm so glad to have all of you on the channel. Love and light.